Hello, and welcome to 20 Minute Drawings with me, your host, uh, Tyler. And coming on as well as always is the titular amazing Corey. What up, what up? How's it going, everybody? Thanks for stopping in, yeah, checking hello. us out today. We're going to be doing a painting in 20 minutes. Well, I'm going to be doing a painting in 20 minutes. And Corey is going to entertain you in ways you couldn't even imagine. Couldn't even imagine, people. Couldn't even imagine. Okay, so you want to get the clock up there? We are going to get that clock right before, up on the screen. Before, before you click it, yep. uh, you want to explain a little about what we are going to be, what you are going to be doing there in this. I am going to be watching Tyler paint and making critiques on his, his painting because I am <laughs> such a great critique of artist work. No, what I'm going to be doing is like I uh, like I did last week, a little uh, different. Uh, we will be uh, using our favorite AI to write us a script, and I will be poorly acting out that script. <laughs> I'm looking forward and, to it. And uh, yeah, today sure. today's theme is going to be a TV show. Uh, last week was a commercial. This week we're going to do a TV show. Yeah, it's going to be good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. So, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. But uh, just one second. Yep, Tyler's got seconds. something going on. I've got something Talking going on Stargazing. because Stargazing Productions is growing and it's growing at an exponential rate right at this time. Please be a part of it. Please, if you are watching on anything besides Stargazing Productions on Facebook, go over to Stargazing Productions. Give us a follow. Give us a like. We love all the comments and suggestions that we get from you guys, our fans. And that's where we put out all our new stuff. So go check it out. Tyler's got an Etsy store. Go check out the Etsy store. It's Stargazing Productions on Etsy. That's where he sells all his products from shirts, prints, original artwork, hats, underwear, and all other things stargazing. So please check know. it out. I don't know if anyone saw this, but uh, earlier today I received my uh, first, I got my tent. For a festival, and I also am going to be doing a festival in June. In uh, that one's in Grand Rapids, actually. That's so. right, everybody. He pitched a tent earlier live on Facebook Live. Go check it yeah. out if you didn't see or, it live. Or he talks so much shit, dude. <laughs> he talks so much shit. Was it was awesome. He shit. couldn't hear what I had to say, so I just <laughs> kept on a going. <laughs> kept on a going. Get to say what I need to say. Yep. You're just sitting there, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh let's get this clock just up there. Give me one moment. I am working on some background music for you here. Oh yeah, good idea. Good idea, sir. Well, he does that. I just want to shout out uh, you know, just everybody. What are you guys doing? What's your life like? What up, everybody? <laughs> How is it going? How is it going? Are you guys ready for this? I think they are. I think they're ready. They're ready, dude. They're chanting. How is the sound of that music? Do we need to go higher, lower, or anything else, Tyler? I'm gonna go. Maybe, oh, right. maybe a little, maybe a little higher. I can't really hear it. But my headphones are shitty because I forgot to grab my good ones. There we go. Yeah. Alrighty. There it is. Let's go with the classic clap for that. Alrighty, let's get this clock going and ready and steady whenever Tyler is ready. I'm ready, dude. Alrighty. Let's, do this thing. let's get I got this. A plan. Let's get this game going. All right, your time has started. Okay, okay. Time to get going. All right, he's looks like he's starting out with blue. Oh, he's doing uh, blot ink to the or blotting 
Block, block <laughs> painting. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, he's he's <laughs> painting tonight, everybody, and it's gonna be awesome. Oh, oh, it's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. Uh, all right. It is gonna drip. That's fine. So he's about to put this on a drill and see where all this art or where all this paint goes when he turns it on. Okay. I need a little <laughs> no. more in the middle where all this paint goes. Um, so, now. so what I am doing, I'm glad everybody's checking us out. Uh, what I am doing during this 20 minutes is I'm going to be building a script for Tyler. Um, so, or not for Tyler, but with Tyler and with audi audience suggestion. So let's get started. I forgot to grab a piece of paper. I have something laying around here. All right, let's do this thing. Tyler, first off, like I said, this is going to be a script for a show. Give me a show, past or present, um, and I want it to be like a daytime show, not like a soap opera, but like, for instance, it doesn't have to be this, but Maury, the Maury Povich show, kind of like the talk show, but has some like... Interest something interesting like that in it um, Wait, can be a talk show. Uh, not necessarily a talk show because I whatever you would classify Maury Povich as, I guess. I don't know what Maury Povich is. Maury you don't know Maury, Maury Povich like was. The yeah, the Maury show, the guy that did the, the the results are in. Yeah. Okay. 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 So a show kind of like that. I, I, In my opinion, I think that's going to give us a good script. But it doesn't have to be that. It could be any type of show like that. Like I said, it can be past, present. It could be a futuristic type of show. If you really want to go there, it's going to be a little bit harder to write. But we can do it. We can figure it out. I wish this paint would spread better. I think it's looking good, but it's just, I don't know. Nicole dropped in to say, hey guys, how's it going, Nicole? Thanks for dropping in and checking out Color My Paint in 20 minutes. <laughs> I almost said the wrong thing. You said a lot of, <laughs> a lot of things. Just there. None of them were the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Twenty minute paintings with Tyler and Corey. Yeah, there you go. Nicole, yeah, it's on the screen. Nicole suggests wet your brush, Tyler. It will spread better. That's not a bad idea, but it's yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes yes thank you just an update tyler we only have 16 minutes and 24 seconds so let's get going with this script what kind of show or name a show i mean let's go jerry springer all righty i like it all right i need two guests for the show uh, it's Nikki, by the way. Okay, Nikki, thank you very much. We will remember that, hopefully. And if we don't, do I'm sorry. I do. But... I know Nikki. I okay. Am aware of who she is. Awesome. She's cool. She's she's a good artist herself. She does art. Very nice. All right, now it looks like Tyler's art is what a guy sees at like 2.30 in the morning walking out of the bar. <laughs> Yeah. Lines. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um. So now I need two guests for this show, Tyler. We got the host, obviously Jerry Springer. Um. So, who's gonna be on this show? Uh. I like. I. In my opinion, it'd be like. Uh. Let's say Ali and Frazier, which you don't understand that. Uh. Reference two box. Uh, the biggest. One of the biggest boxing matches that happened um or you know what i'm saying like just two people that would have a very weird interaction together you know what i'm saying but i want you to choose the people okay 
and audience suggestions as well. If anybody else on, on the uh, out in the audience has a suggestion, let us know. So I need to choose two celebrities? Two people. I mean, it could be you and me. It could be your okay. parents. It could be... Uh... How about, it could be a celebrities. Um, it could be whoever you want them to be. It could be two made-up people. Hmm. I'd rather have it be. Keep painting. Um, Don't forget about the paint. Did. We gotta get the paint I'm going. Doing, I'm doing the painting. Under 14 um, minutes to go. Under 14 minutes to go, Tyler. Yeah. Sorry for that commercial. We are, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, giving you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, two, two, uh, living beings or dead. I, I it could be dead. I don't care. You could use Elvis, and I mean, it, it could be whoever. Uh, Elvis and uh, Mr. Hyde from like the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or whatever. Not Jackal. Je what do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're saying. <laughs> Mr. Jekyll and Mr. It's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll. Alrighty. So, what are they? Why are they on the show, Tyler? Uh, they're disputing over, um, what, who has the better car insurance? All righty. We're not going to get into the insurance companies, but, um... Let's say, give me t one reason on either side why their insurance is better. So Elvis, why Elvis's insurance is better and why uh, Mr. Hyde's insurance is better. Uh, Mr. Hyde's is because it allows for giant cars. And uh, the Elvis is because it allows for discreet, uh, I can't say drugs, so, uh, uh, well, he died, allows, he's died with a cigar it has in his an mouth, extra so. large seat, it, it'll, uh, it'll, it covers extra large seats, so his bad ass Okay. <laughs> Time to have 11 minutes. Alrighty, Tyler. I'm going to think uh, one more question here because I don't want to distract you much anymore. I know it is a little distracting with me talking and uh, you're trying to do this. No, you're good. But uh, let me think of one more All question. Point. Yep. Let me think <laughs> of one more question real quick here. Um, I like where this is going. I have no idea what it's going to come up with, to be honest with you, because I did not expect Mr. Hyde to be on there, to be honest with you. And I have no idea how I'm going to sound like Mr. Hyde, because I don't know what he sounds like. So. Like a monster. So this is going to be interesting, boys and girls and children of all ages. Like a monster. All righty, Tyler. I want a special guest. Who is the person that is going to come out at the end of the show and fix everything. Um. Uh, I uh, what I, I just thought of was like Doctor Drew comes out and fixes the whole thing. Or, oh, you know, okay, like, yeah, Doctor Doctor Drew. Doctor Drew, okay. Speaking, the only reason I I had him in my head is he did this show that I didn't know about called. 
uh, I think it's called like special forces. And what they do is they essentially put these celebrities in these like military training situations and like survival training situations. It's very interesting, but Dr. Drew is one of the people and it's just crazy to me that he would sign up for that. Uh, Mel B is in it from the Spice Girls. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, he was in that, uh, celebrity rehab. And stuff. Yeah, but he's way, I mean, that was 10 years ago. He's old now. Yeah, that's true. And he's doing like, he's like doing really physical stuff, you know? Yeah. The first thing they have to do in the first episode, they have to fall face first into the water. Like they have to, you know, stand, they're in a helicopter hovering over a body, like the ocean, and they have to uh, put their arms across their chest, close their eyes, and fall back and not move at all and they're supposed to you're supposed to fall straight in the water head first but it's supposed to be like you know if you have fear then you freak out type of thing yeah but like he did that and like you it's just some of the crazy stuff the dude's gotta be i don't know how old he is but he is not a young bloke at all But yeah, check that show out. It's pretty interesting. Okay. So what uh what else you need from me? So I don't need anything else from you. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and or you guys can sit back, relax, and I'm gonna type this thing up. Um obviously not the script. I'm gonna type up some commands and get a script written for us. While I do that, you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy what Tyler's got going. Tell everybody what you got going there, Tyler. I got, uh, stuff. <laughs> you know? He's got stuff, everybody. Check it out. He's got check. He's got stuff on here, stuff on there, stuff everywhere. So what are your plans this weekend, Tyler? Got anything coming up? Uh, uh I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I am going to the park and painting with some friends. Nice. That'll be Friday. fun. Yeah, that'll be a good time. So that... It's going to be hard. It may be hard, Tyler, but you only have just above six minutes left. Six minutes left. Can he do it, everybody? Smash that like button and give us a comment in the chat. Let us know. Do you think he can do it or not? They're just like, no, he can't.
Do I got how much more time do I have? All righty, Tyler. Hold up, hold up. You will have under four minutes left. Three fifty-six left. Let's get it going. I will be I will be counting down from two minutes with you. I am almost done here. And we will do this script. Awesome. So if people didn't watch that video earlier today, uh, let them know the, a few things about that tent that you like. Participants with a current eligible GMC lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2023 GMC Sierra Elevation for $299 per month. Alrighty, Tyler, you have one minute and 45 seconds. One minute and 45 seconds. All right. Then we will show you the finished product and we will have the script. While he's finishing that up, I will let you know what I put in there in chat GBT for a script. It says the following. Create a script for the Jerry Springer show set in the 1990s when Steve was still a security guard. I don't know. I just feel like that's the best The best part of Jerry Springer was back then. Uh, the guests on the show are Elvis and the fictional character Dr. Hyde, which is it's Mr. Hyde. It's not Dr. Hyde, right? Because yeah. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So got that one wrong. They're disputing over who has the better car insurance. Mr. Hyde, Mr. Hyde's insurance covers covers huge cars, and Elvis's insurance covers extra large seats for his fat so his fat butt can sit, can fit. Doctor Drew comes in on the show and saves the day, even though Elvis and Mr. Hyde have no idea who he is. And then I also told it, told it to make the script funny for an adult. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Everybody, let's count down from 10. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom goes the dynamite. Okay. All right. It's, uh... <laughs> People are liking it. Okay, this is this is more or less what I'm. Sorry, uh, I have to plug my phone in because 
That's at 7%. All righty. All right. Well, you do that. Would you like me to start uh, reading the script? Uh, yeah, let's do that. All righty. And then we could talk about the artwork, talk about the script, and talk about getting the F out of here. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Opening on the set of Jerry, the Jerry Springer Show, circa 1990s. Steve, the security guard, stands on stage while the audience cheers and chants, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Steve. Welcome to the Jerry Springer Show, where today we have a wild dispute between two guests. Please welcome Elvis and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Elvis and Mr. Hyde enter the stage. Elvis wears a sequined jumpsuit, while Mr. Hyde is clad in a black suit, top hat, and cane. <laughs> Steve. So, Elvis and Mr. Hyde, what brings you here today? Elvis. Oh, well, uh, Steve, we've had uh, to settle once. Uh, settle this once and for all. Oh, shnikes, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> well, we have to settle this once and for all. Who has the better car insurance? Mr. Hyde. And, uh, it's obviously me. My insurance cover insurance covers huge cars. Well, Elvis's insurance only covers extra <laughs> large seats so his fat butt can fit. <laughs> and then this happens to the audience. <laughs> the audience gasps and boos. Steve. Now now. Let's get not let's not get personal here. Let's bring our special guest, Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew enters the stage to the confused look of Elvis and Mr. Hyde. Elvis. Uh, who the heck is this guy? Mr. Hyde. I don't know, but he looks like he knows a thing or two about car insurance. Dr. Drew. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm here to help settle this dispute. Now, Elvis. I understand your insurance cover covers extra large seats. Elvis. Oh, yes, sir. I need them to fit this big honky honky burning love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I wrote that. <laughs> it's, wait, it wrote that? I, I definitely thought you came up with that. No, it wrote. <laughs> oh, and I, 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 I quote, Yes, sir. I need him to fit this big hunka hunka burning love. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, Doctor Drew and Mister Hyde. Your insurance covers huge cars. Mr. Hyde. Yes, indeed. I need a car that can fit all of my personalities. Dr. Drew. Well, it seems to me that both of your insurance policies have their strengths. But here's the thing, folks. Insurance isn't about who has the best policy. It is about being responsible and safe on the road. So why don't we all agree to be better drivers and we won't have to worry about insurance? The audience <laughs> cheers and applause. Dr. Drew. It really came up with a little thing where he can't, he solved it. Yep. <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> you know what, Doc? You're right. I'm going to take, take better care of myself and my car from now on. Mr. Hyde. Same here. I try to keep my alter I'll keep try to keep my alter egos in check while behind the wheel. Steve. Yeah. And 
And there you have it, folks. Another dispute settled on the Jerry Springer Show. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. The audience cheers as Elvis and Mr. Hyde shake hands and exit the stage, with Dr. Drew and Steve following behind. End scene. All right, good job. Do a little, Woo! uh... Yeah, a little... <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, yeah! Clap, clap. So, guys, uh, this is my second one. I like my first one better. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I like this one all right. I like the style. I feel like I could hone it more, do a little better, some stuff with it. But I do like the water. I love this water. I love yeah, the, it. Yeah, it looks sweet. Like, it looks really cool. But stars kind of fucked it up. I should have made a bigger moon and made this more blue. So, you know, you learn, you live and you learn. I like this piece. I think it's cool, but I'm probably going to paint white over it so I can do another piece on top of it and uh, do some more art next Wednesday so that I can get better at this skill. The next one I'm probably going to do, I have planned out as well. Uh, I'm fully going to commit to it this time because this time I kind of just went for this, but I, I did have a, I do have a plan with the other one. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that, so please. And then this was last week's, which, like I said, I like this one more. I like uh, how this one turned out more. It was a little little better, in my opinion. But this one's got its own vibe, too. So, whatever you like, you like. I like both of them. They're fun stuff. What do you feel about it, Corey? I think I just uh, gave you my feelings in the, in the form of music. Starry Night is how I feel. Starry Night. Hell yeah. Um, thank you guys for checking out this show. Uh, we do this every Wednesday now uh, until I get the guts to do it in front of people. So until that day inevitably comes, check out Stargazing Productions. We're going to be going to two festivals this summer as well as farmers markets doing other stuff uh selling our stuff on etsy which we do on here and anywhere else you want to check it out like i said june 10th i'm gonna be with corey probably doing the division uh festival art festival so that's gonna be pretty sweet i'm really excited about that um and it's it's actually pretty cheap if anybody else wants to do that shit definitely check it out it's 35 dollars for a booth um contact the stray or uh whoever organizes it i don't know um we're gonna be there and in september Corey and i definitely are gonna be at festival of the oddities people uh it's gonna be freaking awesome two-day event mm -hmm. we'll be there selling our stuff and i just got that tent today you did not see me do the little video about me setting it up uh, Corey makes fun of me the whole time. It's good. It's good content. It's good. It's funny. I definitely enjoyed it. I rewatched it never. because I wanted to know what he said. I uh, never, <laughs> never would ever do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff and we really appreciate you guys checking out little things like we do with this and, uh, just all the support. It means so much to all of us, to uh, me and Corey. We, we put a lot of effort into these videos and this uh, stuff we're doing. So thank you for, you know, being here for it. Anyway, we will uh, talk to you guys probably Monday for Color My Art. Also check that out, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have an interview. Uh, it's going to be a little different because we're going to pre-record that one. So it's going to be a little, uh, little different than normal, but it's going to be a great one. So definitely check that out too. Thank you, guys, and see you uh, Monday. Yeah, yeah. Stay safe tomorrow, everybody. Have fun. Yeah. Hey, uh, also, Sticky Delights, uh, go and check him out on Etsy Ooh. and Instagram. And then what is your other one? Uh, Marijuana Shop. Marijuana Shop. Mary check Marijuana it out. Marijuana Shop. But anyway. There is some really cool cards, man. Honestly, if you hate getting people gifts... These are great for your friends that are smoking weed. You don't want to get an eighth. So you get a joint and put it in the card, and then it's one thing, and it's super easy. Just do yep. that. Yep, and, and we're working on more designs here. So, yep, more to yeah, come. Cool. 
Thank you, and see you all guys later.